I'm Amanda Hoskins. I've worked for BOC for 18 months and I am the site production manager here at Worsley. At Worsley site, we manufacture and fill medical gases. Our customers include uh, ambulance services and the NHS. I am, in essence, responsible for the site. I'm responsible for the safety of the people here. It's up to me to keep the site legal. And obviously, production is important to us, so I need to maximise output. I studied chemical engineering at Cambridge. From, from there, I went to a soap manufacturer where I worked in R&D. I was there for about six years, but actually of, of that job, most of what I preferred was when I was doing trials on production plants, which convinced me that actually I should give production a go. And in various forms, I've been doing that ever since. No, of course I didn't. Who knows what an engineer is when they're at school? I thought that was somebody who mended your car and I didn't want oil under my nails. I, I've always been uh, curious technically about how things worked, how things were made, why things couldn't be changed. I enjoyed sort of technical subjects and maths and I grew up in a fairly industrial area where there was a lot of chemical manufacturing companies. So when I actually found out that chemical engineering was actually something that you could do, uh, it seemed to really fit with my interests and things clicked into place from that. The qualities an engineer needs to have depend a lot on the type of work that they're in. And engineering is not just one specific job, it covers a huge raft of occupations. For example, um, somebody who designs a nuclear reactor has got a very different job to somebody who manages a project with lots of different disciplines reporting into that, or even what I do, which is manage an operational site. In all cases, um, you need to be technically curious, try and understand how things work, and try and understand how to make them better. Um, an affinity for technical subjects helps, uh, attention to detail helps. If asked to give advice to young females considering a career in engineering, I would say, look at what options are available. There are many different engineering disciplines for one, and from that you can go into many different occupations, both drilling deep into very, very detailed work or breadth of work, for example, project management or operations management like I do. A degree in engineering doesn't even limit you ultimately to working in a technical field. You could go into finance, for example, if ultimately you wanted to change. Right, so I'm standing here today feeling not entirely comfortable with all my colleagues laughing at me, just in the hope that what I've said and what I'm saying might inspire somebody to actually look into it as a career.